In this video, we're going to focus on how to add the Chart.js plugin Zoom in Chart.js. And this will be another Chart.js series specifically on the Chart.js plugin for Zoom. And this is a quite nice one because this function or this, this plugin will give you a very useful functionality, especially if you are into large charts or if you're into a stock charts. So this will be very nice if you can combine it with the candle chart plugin that would be even more fun as well so if you are into charts this will be or specifically into stock market charts or uh, crypto charts whatever this can be a very useful function all right so let's start and explore this because what we're going to do is we're going to install this and how so how can we add this one first of all this is my blank template here you can see here is the html file and then what I want to do first, I want to get a chart in Chart.js. So right now I'm using Chart.js version 3.2, uh, 3.3.2. And let's add it up immediately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up this here. And then I'll put it in here and paste this in. And once we paste this in, I'll put a proper indentation here. And I will probably remove this one. This can be removed. But what I do want is here to put in the Chart.js library. So we're going to add that up. Add that as well. So we click here on getting started. And in getting started here on the already sub menu, you will see here the Chart.js library. So I'm just going to copy this straight away. Paste it in here and make sure that this is loaded before you have the JavaScript related to the chart. All right. So once we have this, what I want to do is the following. I'm going to ex extend our data here a bit more, so it will be more visible how useful it is. And then this here with the colors, well, guess what? Chart.js doesn't have uh, or have this new function in here where, where it will look through consistently, so you don't have to put in multiple times the colors. So that would be really fun. So we can just add up this here. So let me put in here, copy this. I'll just copy it a few times. Uh, one that's one time, two time, three time, four time, and five times. All right, and I'll just do the same here with the labels. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So we have five times in total. So there should be here thirty digits or thirty values. So if I save this now, go back here and refresh, you can see here we have a huge, uh, very long chart and zooming in can be now more functional here all right so we've got this here and you can see here it loops through these colors here this is automatic in chart.js which is a really wonderful function since chart.js version 3. so we have this here now we're ready for our continuation what i do want to do here is the chart box well it doesn't matter so much right now you can see this is already working fine so i guess that will be fine so what we're going to do now is we're going to a website called the chart.js plugins data labels dot net netlify dot app all right so if you wonder how do we get there well let me show you click here on ecosystem click here on awesome once you are here you get all the options here you know, every plugin uh, what they currently have and then what we want to have is the zoom and panning let's see here zoom 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 and if you are interested in data labels i have another one that already covered the data labels plugin here you have the zoom, zoom and panning on charts. All right, so click on this, then you get here, and then it says here somewhere here the link, documentation, there you are. And then you go to this wonderful page here, which is exactly the same as this one here. Then we click on get started, and then here, just make sure you are on the latest version here. So the latest version is 1.0.0. So Oh, sorry, this is the data plugins. That's not even the one I need, sorry. I need to zoom. This is the one we need. So I'm not even paying attention. My apologies for that. So make sure you are in here on this one. Chart.js uh, plugin dash zoom. All right, so let's start. Let's get started or let's install this. All right, so first thing here is uh, a zoom and pan plugin for Chart.js uh, 3 and beyond. Panning can be done via the mouse or with the finger. Zooming is done via the mouse wheel or via a pinch gesture all right for this we need hammer.js especially for the pinch gesture recognition all right so we go to integration here and the thing what we need to do here is we have to follow here the information so we got this one here it shows you here we need to have the hammer 
So the hammer needs to be loaded first before we even load the Charge.js plugin zoom. So, and this one here is not the official item here. And this one as well, I would not recommend this because this is not really a Charge.js or a JavaScript file. So this will give you an error. So what you're going to do is you just go here, cdnjs.com libraries, Charge.js dash plugin dash zoom. When you have this, you can see here the latest version. And the latest version is 101 or or 100, whatever, one or the other you can get. So what I want to do is here, I will get this one. But when I get this, I can just copy here the script. This is the first one we'll put in then. Make sure it's below. But I want I need to have some extra space because we need to put the hammer JS above. So I'm going to put it in here, paste this. So this is the plugin zoom. So the hammer JS needs to be between these two here. Or above doesn't matter so much because Hammer.js is individual. It is not dependent on the Chart.js library. It's just a special for specifically the pinch effects on mobile phone. All right, so we click here on this. Then this is the Hammer.js. Just go here, libraries, Hammer.js. Get here 2.0.8. Just copy the script here. There you are. And I'll just put it here between. We can put it here above. Does not matter why, because this is not. This one is not dependent on this. However. This one here is dependent on the Chart.js library, which makes sense because this is a sub library basically of Chart.js. All right, so we have these now here. So let's save this now. And if we go back here, refresh, and now if you click on it or do scrolling, it doesn't work. Why it doesn't work? Well, we didn't activate it yet. So let's go back here to integration. We follow the things. All right, so we have this one. And then what we need to do is we need to register or activate it so i'm going to re register or activate it specifically for the chart and you can use this basically you put it in here and you put it just here at the bottom that's fine why because this chart here remember look here it gets from here chart capital c matching and then dot register it will register in a specific plugin so this will happen it will be set on every one of them but how i what i want to do is i want to have only specifically on this chart Yes, and then we're going to basically do very similar structure as what we did with the data labels. So what we're going to do here is, well, we can see here the use it. You will see it immediately here down. Basically here, we're going to do is in the options, oh, in the options here. So we're going to do here in the options, we're going to put a comma here because we're going to put a new value in here. Here we say plugins, plugins, and basically we're going to copy this here. Well, as you can see, we can start to zoom, but I don't want that. You can see here, plugins, and then we say here, all right, we want to activate Zoom, which says here Zoom. So basically what we're doing here, we activate the plugin called Zoom. And then what we want to do is we want to Zoom. That's another command. So basically here, this is just plugins. This is the namespace, zoom.zoom. .zoom. That's what we're doing here. And on here, if I'm not mistaken, enable, or is it um, a scroll wheel or mouse wheel? Wheel enable. All right. So then here, this will be wheel dot enable equals whatever it is let me say yes true so that's what we're doing here so we say zoom this and then we say um or was that the wheel if i'm not mistaken yeah zoom wheel and here enable let me say here true so once we did this and we move this letter here all right so do we have everything yes so once we did this then we go back to our file here and now if we zoom in we should expect something let's double check what's going on here doesn't work yet did i or is it enable or maybe it's enable let's double check here the uh, options here you can see here enabled we can just say here enabled with the wheel all right with a d you can see here probably do we have that here enable all right the pan options for enabled and the zoom options are not with the wheel this is these options here basically so that's what what we have here now so this is enable with d refresh here and now if we zoom in as you can see now i can scroll with my mouse and i can zoom in but look what happens pay attention here as we zoom in we're zooming in uh, from the the x-axis you can see here this is being zoomed in but also the y-axis as you can see here both sides are zoomed in and while we have enabled it and then now we are scrolling out if you see we are zooming out and zooming in and this is well panning. So what is panning? What is zooming? So zooming is zooming in on the value. Panning is basically um, moving the 
you can imagine panning like a camera. If you have a camera that's straight and you will move the camera from one angle or you're going to the left side or the right side, that's what you call panning. Because basically you don't go, you don't zoom in, but you will view the left or the right side. So this is what we're doing. If I refresh here and I just go here, basically what, and I zoom in here now, you can see now I'm panning because I'm going more and more to this part here. While zooming in, I'm moving also vertically or so, for, sorry, horizontally as well. So this is basically the panning. All right. So we have this now and we have really basics here. Of course, I'm not satisfied with it. We're going to do a lot more. I will cover that in the next video. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.